QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022, Import PayPal Data. Get ready because we bookkeeping pros are moving up the hilltop with QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022. Here we are in our bank feed practice file going through the setup process with the view drop down the open windows list on the left hand side the company drop down home page in the middle maximizing to the gray area in prior presentations we're looking into uploading the paypal information which we cannot just upload by going to the banking drop down bank feeds and then uploading another bank feed connecting to paypal so we would like to download the information from paypal which we did last time or two times ago or something like that some prior presentation into a file that looks like this we couldn't download from the financial institution of paypal directly in a qbo web connect file as we typically can with other types of financial institutions so we downloaded a csv file which is a microsoft excel comma separated values file which is like a stripped down excel file without all the formatting stuff and then we used our software here to convert it from that to a QBO file that we could then upload into the QuickBooks desktop. So that's where we are at this point in time. Notice again that this software that we used for the conversion, we're not affiliated to them at all. This is just one software that you could look into for that conversion process. I believe there's a free offer uh, for like a limited a number of conversions or something like that to start out with. But again, you can look into the conversion options on your own there this is just one of them and we're not affiliated with them so then now we have this open so we could do this a couple different ways if i hit the if i go back into the system i could just hit the banking drop down and then we could go to the banking and import like this or we could just close the whole thing again which is some i believe this is the recommended way oftentimes making sure this is the last one that we had open in the quickbooks software and then i'll just double click on that file and it should open it up and then do like its thing so now we'll double click on this file we're just going to double click on it and then it should run so it says quickbooks has received a uh, new transaction data well i hope so because that's what we're trying please indicate whether you want to import this data or save it we're going to import it right now and say okay and then there we have it so here's our information so it kind of just picked up the generic information obviously we didn't take it from wells fargo here it was from paypal but we didn't enter any kind of institution and we've got the number that was there kind of by default so that's that's going to be there so we're going to say all right i want to create a new account and i'm not going to call it wells fargo checking we're going to call it paypal paypal pay the paypal and then we'll say continue it says your web connect data has been successfully read into quickbooks you can view the downloaded data in bake feed center by selecting your financial institution it looks like it's working. It's working. It's alive. So there it is. It's amazing. Closing the carrot on the left hand side. Now we've got the three cards up top. We could toggle this way. Or actually, this is the bank and credit. We'll toggle this way, apparently. So here's our three items. And then we've got the PayPal is the new item. And obviously, now we've got some intercompany type of transactions between uh, PayPal and, and the the bank so we'll have to basically these transfers so we'll we'll kind of do those intercompany transfers as well and we'll get into that in future presentations